Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you a walk around the Shore Track Round Top Enclosed Cargo Trailer. This particular trailer is the STR Series. This is the new style cargo trailer that Shore Track came out with. It's got a few upgraded features. I'm going to take you around and show you the different features on this particular trailer. So we're going to start out up front. A few things Shore Track's doing a little bit different. They take the time to cap the end of their frames. So there's no salt and acid rain getting back the mainframe. They use a 2 and 5 16 inch coupler. They put a zinc jack on instead of a painted jack. On all trailers, they do a 6 inch tube mainframe. I think you'll find the industry standard here is a 4 inch. They use a sealed wiring harness and they grommet all their wiring where it goes in and out of frame. They also undercoat their trailers. So from where the tongue meets the very front of the trailer, from here back, floor to ceiling, they undercoat the trailer. You also notice they use a three inch trim. Many trailers use a one inch and don't trim out the stone guard. They trim even the front stone guard. You also notice the uh, anodized aluminum front corners give it a little bit of a classy design. They also switch to the rubber bullet mount LED lights. Gives it a nice look, it's a clear lens light. One of the many details that Shore Track does they double lag the corner so that trim piece would never come out. Miter the corner. They also use the RV style door. A little bit nicer looking door than the uh, strap hinge. Give it a nice, uh, again, a curved out finish instead of a plastic handle. Little details like an aluminum door hold back instead of plastic as well. We'll move on to the fender area. Here you'll see aluminum wheels which are now standard. Also radial tires. On the exterior of the trailer, it's a semi-screwless look and an 030 metal. You'll find industry standard, pretty much all trailers are screwed. It gives it a little bit more of a wavy look. The semi-screwless short track does, keeps the trailer looking sharp. They also use the 030 aluminum, which helps keep the uh, wrinkled appearance down. Gives you a little thicker aluminum for anybody that's heavy duty that might otherwise put a hole in it. They also switched out to an 080 extruded aluminum roof cove. Whereas the industry standard would be your be your standard uh, 030 aluminum. It's a little bit heavier cove, it's all one piece. Moving on back to trailer, Short Track does a uh, sidewall vent standard for cross ventilation. So they have these on the front driver side and the rear passenger side for ventilation. They also do three hinges on a seven wide trailer. They put the grease zerts on them for serviceability. You also notice they're a full hinge. Many manufacturers use a a hinge it's only what I call a half hinge it's about half as wide on the back ramp door you also notice they trim out the ramp many manufacturers leave exposed steel here they switch to a high output LED tail light that's got the uh, chrome trim ring you'll notice at the top center here they're using a thin strip LED light instead of the three separate lens caps then they also put a few extra bumpers on the ramp Another little detail, they use an aluminum, uh, an aluminum uh, grab handle instead of plastic. They also put grab handles on both sides instead of just one. It's a well-balanced uh, well -balanced ramp door. You'll notice they do the ramp flap extension standard. They also put plenty of lags in your uh, butterfly hinge so that the extension's not going to come off. They do 6'6 six, six height inside on all their trailers. So you got plenty of headroom even for your taller guys and your contractors. They switched out recently to these LED dome lights instead of incandescent so they pull a little bit less juice. Inside on the roof you also notice a continuous one piece aluminum roof. Uh, your cheaper trailers generally save a couple bucks here and put a one piece, uh, one piece, or I'm sorry, put a gal one piece gavelin roof uh, on. This is one piece aluminum. Of course, aluminum stays a little bit cooler than steel as well. So inside the box, even though it's a black trailer, it stays a little bit cooler. On the walls here, you see uh, a birch plywood instead of a BC. It gives a little bit nicer look. It's a sanded plywood. Inside, you also see the, uh, the inside of that side door, the RV door. Okay. A couple little details Short Track does that we feel make them a little bit nicer trailer. 
they use all grommeted wiring. You got a lot less chance of having a short inside one of their trailers. And then also on the roof, you'll notice they're using box tube. They're also using the same box tube in the side walls. So you get an all tube frame, 16 inch on center walls, 16 inch on center floors. This would be an ideal trailer for a contractor or homeowner that demands a little bit nicer trailer. Spinning around another little detail, uh, double spring assist. Uh, industry standard here would be a single spring. They use the double spring in the ramp door. They also give you a little bit heavier duty door. Short track is our nicer steel line of cargo trailer. We also have a cheaper line available as well as aluminum cargoes. This particular model comes in a barn door and a ramp door. You can get it in a 7K or a 10,000 pound. It's also available in a flat top wedge front, Dinos. My name's Greg with Best Choice Trailers. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.